Hey guys and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to do a quick unboxing of the CK1 Shock Perfume for him. There's plenty of videos online reviewing this fragrance so I won't really be reviewing it as such. Uh, the reason I bought this is a very reasonable price, about £23 for 200ml which is very reasonable considering the quality of the fragrance. Really hard to find something else in this price range of this quality. I was using, the last time I sniffed this was about a couple of years ago. Uh, in the Boots uh, store, I believe, and uh, I was using purely my memory of this fragrance in order to decide whether I wanted to buy it or not. Of course, I did look at other videos as well as other reviews on popular websites to check whether it was uh, a good fragrance or not, and apparently it does get a lot of com compliments and so on. I think it's quite complex in terms of its smell. I won't be giving you all the notes in this video, you can readily find them online. I might stick them in the description later after I've uploaded the video. Uh, I will also won't be giving it a review at this point, a score out of 10 sort of thing because uh, fragrance smells different in the first couple of minutes once you sprayed it versus if you actually wear it for the whole day, seven, eight hours or so. So this uh, score out of 10 will be provided in the, in the description uh, maybe a couple of weeks after the upload date of the video. So without any further ado, let's get this uh, unboxed. There's other videos also oh, elsewhere on YouTube. I also did this, the, the unboxing, but I thought I'd do it on my on my uh, channel as well. A virgin unboxing, the way we like it. Cellophane off. Close up at the bottom. Sides. Okay. Just so you know exactly what it looks like maybe even from the clarity of the video work out what the texture of the box is like and the shininess and so forth this is the back i have to keep my unboxing as detailed as i can the shining on the box gives you an idea of the texture or the finish of the box itself let's get this opened nice easy to open i really like that i really don't like you when this bit is sort of folded in and it's harder to get this out. Nicely done. Little website leak there. This fragrance is actually quite old, uh, relatively speaking. And I think there's been a couple of reformulations of this fragrance. Although I don't think it's probably changed since the last couple of years. This is what you get within it. In fact, the bottle is so big, 200 milliliters, it's hard to get it in a single frame. That's the back. That is the front. Nothing else in the box, completely empty. Okay guys, <coughs> so there you have it. CK Shark, nice little simple bottle. Better show you the bottom as well here. Got the code, the batch number and so on. Um, one way to authenticate it is to match the batch number. As you can see, 7188 on the barcode sticker here, 7188 on the bottle. One way to verify whether the fragrance and uh, the box is original or not, whether it's genuine or not, and so on. Some people think the box is a, uh, bottle is a little bit simple. I personally like it. It's a bit cheeky. Uh, with that, this is quite a classy bottle in my opinion. With this, it's just a little bit something extra. Again, a little bit of a reflection of how I am. Um, useful, if you have a smaller bottle, you can decant it out of this. Very useful because 200 milliliters. Back when they probably started making these bottles, of course, um, there was probably no restriction in travel uh, of 100 milliliters uh, in hand luggage. So, of course, if you've got a smaller bottle, then you can decant this, or in a smaller sprayer, you can decant this into a smaller bottle, less than 100 milliliters, so no problems going through um, airport security in your hand luggage. Sprayer separately provided. Um, I really like this. I hope more. Uh, perfume manufacturers did this actually where I could just decant something out of it so in case the bottle is above 100 milliliters although that is rare in itself uh, most fragrances don't go above 100 milliliters some go to 105 and so on but most of it look so there you go not gonna spray it not gonna uh, sort of do anything else with it this is just purely an unboxing video hopefully you liked it if you like to give it a like uh, subscribe comment uh, everything's really appreciated um, yeah, put a review in the next couple of weeks uh, in the description. I'll just give you a nice little finish on the on the ink here. It's a little bit of matte finish, quite solid, good quality. Can't really complain. Very good. Okay, 
Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.